I know I've said this many times, but let's just make sure I put it right here on the video just in case for later years. I called it and people are like, no, nah, you didn't call it. No, nah, you didn't do it. No, no, no. It's like, I'll have this video to point to. How will Miraculous end? Or at least how would Hawk Moth slash Shadow Moth end? I'm going to tell you the good news and the bad news. The good scenario and the bad scenario. Let's go with the good scenario because, well, I didn't talk about that good scenario that much. So, good scenario. He gets the Miraculouses. But the wish will cost, right? He says, it takes from someone else. And it's like, yeah, well, this is what's going to happen. Because they don't really know what Hawk Moth really wants. We know, but they don't. What I'm pretty sure what's going to happen, and I'm calling it now, is that Gabriel Agress will sacrifice his own life to bring his wife back. So basically the Mr. Freeze scenario. Well, at least the Mr. Freeze scenario in the, t in the video game, in Arkham Knight. I think that's actually the best one out of all of it. I mean, yeah, technically Harley Quinn, the TV show, which, ugh, but hey, when it came to Mr. Freeze, it did actually end the same way, where it's like he cured his wife, but it cost it, it cost him his own life. And I'm pretty sure that is what exactly is going to happen, is that he saved his wife, but he sacrificed his own just because he loved his wife so much and he wished he co she comes back. But it comes at a messed up, bittersweet moment of where it's like his dad sacrifices himself because is, is he really living? Is he really living? All he's doing is the same thing over and over and over again. And yes, he's talented, but the thing is that his heart is not in it. He just has a gift that he's using, but his heart is not in it. And he's using evil. He's being evil to do something that is, in quotations, noble. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't know that part, right? The fact of where he has to sacrifice. Someone's going to lose their life too. So I'm pretty sure when it comes to it and he gets the, let's say he gets some miraculouses and maybe there's something where it's like, no, don't do it. If you do that wish, someone else is going to get, is going to take away from him. It's like, oh, someone's going to get taken away from him. Fine then. Take me. And it's like, whoa, what? It's like, I'm pretty sure you're able to direct that wish to make it so that if there's anything that actually is an issue, take my life in exchange for hers. That's how the wish will play out. And then there you go. She's alive. He's dead because, well, he can't take it anymore. And there you go. And that just brings a good scenario of where then we know who the future Hawk Moth is because, well, she's trying. And, well, <laughs> it's like she's trying to get the Miraculouses because, well, guess what? Um, She wants to bring N Natalie. Yeah, Natalie wants to bring back Gabriel, Gabriel now. So it's like, yeah, that's crazy. But of course, it's kind of funny where it's like, yeah, well, even though it sucks that he can move on, Natalie loves him and, well, he loves his wife still. It's like, oh, then Natalie should do the damn wish and then there you go. But I'm like, no, nah, it's not how it's going to go down. It's not going to be like that. So that's the good scenario. The bad scenario is the fact of where he tried. He eventually failed and he gets the Mac Maximilian Pegasus of where he was trying to get the miraculous. He couldn't do it. And well, someone backstabs him, just like what happened to Maximilian Pegasus. He needed all seven Millennium items to bring back his wife. He didn't do it. And what's worse is someone came and took his miraculous, a.k.a. his Millennium item away from him. Of course, it was Bakura. It was, of course, it was Bakura. But I'm just saying someone that they don't he doesn't freaking suspect is going to backstab him. We don't know if it's going to be both miraculouses is taken away or just the freaking one of the miraculouses because he only knows one. He only know about one. He don't know about two. He only know one. Right now, when it comes to um, Lila, she only knows Hawk Moth as Hawk Moth. She never actually got introduced to Shadow Moth. So that means that technically she would not really know at this point that he has two miraculouses. And I wonder if he would even divulge that information that is like, yes, I changed my name because now I'm more powerful with two miraculouses. And it's like, oh, well, there you go. So now she knows that she has two of them. So <laughs> he she didn't show no muck when it came to time tagger. So 
I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Maybe she's going to someday get more powerful and then become like Shadow Moth. But for right now, my money is maybe Lila's going to become Hawk Moth. Chances are, even though she's not, hasn't been in season four at all. Yeah, she has not been in season four. I mean, I just saw her in the classroom, but it's like as if they forgot she exists. And it's like, uh, what's going on now? I mean, I understand you used um, Chloe a lot, but why aren't you using Lila? What What's going on there? We got to see the update on that because Lila is just apparently dormant for some reason. It's like, okay. Um, she should be doing something right now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what's, what's going on here? She wasn't even in the whole, it's like, yeah, so she was in the classroom previously, but when it came to the whole, um, Julica and this stuff, she didn't get absorbed. I don't think it's like, she didn't get absorbed. She didn't even want to walk in there. And plus I'm pretty sure Chloe and I forgot her name. <laughs> they didn't move either. So it's like, yeah, so it's just like three who were missing. And it's like, yeah, of course they didn't go check on Julica. So what the, I mean, well, Zoe. Yeah. No, it's not her name. It's not Zoe. It's something else. Anyways, Julie. Well, anyways, it's weird that they didn't even check up on her. Yeah, those guys didn't check up on her. And we didn't see them in any video, movie, any any episodes lately and it's like it's pretty weird well chloe yes but when it came to like all the class they were missing again lila is weird that she's just remaining silent after all this time weird <laughs> weird well besides the whole adrian part anyways I just thought I need to write this down or well, in quotations write this down so people can actually notice that yes I am calling it now this is most likely the scenario how Gabriel becomes powerless is either he's dead traded his life or B he got stripped of his power and now he is defenseless but we have a brand new hawk moth in town and I'm pretty sure it's Lila Pretty sure it's Lila. Chloe's not in, really in it. Chloe's not going to be able to do that. Natalie, yes, but only if he dies. In the case if he's alive, then why would Natalie actually pump her to the curb? And then now he's doing it. And plus, note, they're adults, not teenagers. So that's just a small part. Instead, it should be more like who? It's Lila. Come on, it's freaking Lila. Come to freak on, it's Lila.